All right, laying off the booze. Hey, Billy Blunts, after hearing you talk about drying out, you really inspired me to do the same. I drink entirely too much right now. After about eight days of daily commitment, I'm up to about a half a fifth a day with the odd beer mixed in. Uh, wait, I thought you said... After about eight years of daily commitment. Oh, I thought it was eight days. I thought he was like drying out and then all of a sudden he's boozing. That confused me. All right. After about eight years of daily commitment, I'm up to about half a fifth a day with an odd beer mixed in. I know it's a lot, but I've worked up my tolerance so much that I don't really get drunk anymore. I just lose an hour here and there. No big deal, right? Yeah, too. that's called blacking out. Anyways, I was able to quit smoking weed after five years of heavy daily use. No problem. I was even able to quit using Oxycontin. Jesus. After about three years of eating and sniffing pills all damn day, I've been able to maintain a normal life while going through these ups and downs. I'm married with a kid and a house and a great job. If you make more than a million dollars, I probably manage your retirement account. But despite being able to put the hard shit down, booze has been the hardest so far. Last week, I decided to jump off the wagon with you. It's been hard as hell, but I've been able to stick to it better than I ever had. I'm trying to limit beers to two a day and only drink liquor on the weekends. I've slipped once, but I'm doing my fucking best. I don't have a question, more of a request. Please keep us updated on your progress. It's helping me with my own journey because none of my friends really drink at all, much less the way I do. And my wife doesn't even know the extent of my issue, which is an issue on its own. Yeah, it is. Makes my struggle a bit easier to hear you having the same troubles as I'm, I have was sticking uh, to my resolution. Thanks for giving me the kick in the ass. I need to get my shit together. All right, dude, this is what you need to do. All right? After just saying, don't text your wife that you're having a good time, you got to let you know. You got to let your wife know about this. This is a major thing. You're not sitting there eating a fucking turkey wrap, having a fucking bitter Mexican beer, whatever the fuck it was called. Um, I, I would talk to her about it because then she can she can watch it, dude. I can't fucking watch. It. I can't I can't do this for you. you. You need to have your wife involved in this and just say, listen, I've been drinking entirely too much, and I need your help. All right. So, um, I gotta be honest with you, dude. I I try like right now. I have a beer a day, and that's only because my wife had some people over and they left a bunch of beer in the fridge, and it's taken up all this space. And I don't want to dump it down the sink. You know, I'm not dumping out a bunch of beers. I just have one a day. And what sucks is they're Corona light, which are fucking horrific. Um, so I don't even enjoy them. Um, but I just have like one a day. Uh, but last night, you know, it was Saturday night. I'm home. You know, I got the best fucking bar in town. I got high end booze. And, you know, I had a couple of home pours, which, you know, as I've mentioned before, there's the bar pour and there's the home pour. Because you can lie to yourself that you're having two scotches a night. But, you know, when you go out to a bar and you see what their scotches are, you're like, oh, wait, did I say two? I meant nine. Um, so, uh, yeah, like last night, you know, I had a couple, two, three of those after having the beer during the day. And I woke up today. I felt like I got hit by a truck. You know, it was awful. I walked my dog around the block and I shook it off and I was just like, like, you know what it is? At nighttime, it's brutal. Being sober at night sucks, but being sober and waking up the next day, stone sober, is the greatest. It, it, it feels better than getting shit-faced. Um, so, you know, and my wife, you know, she stays on me. She stays on me about it. It's weird. Like, I don't want, like, you sound like, you know, you, you're, you've had some hardcore. Luckily, I don't have, like, an addictive personality, my thing is I have time. I have free fucking time. And I get into like, and I'm a creature of habit. Like if I can't, if I like, this is how I work. Like if I was to go out and buy a fucking pint of ice cream, right. And I was to wolf that fucking thing down one night, I would start doing that. That's what I would do. So like if I, you know, and, and all these fucking addicts who go to AA and all this shit, they always try to make sure that, they try to make like everybody's a fucking addict. You know, I'm not, dude. I don't have like a fucking bottle in the back of my fucking <laughs> toilet and shit, sitting there shaking, drinking fucking mouthwash and shit. You know what I mean? I just like drinking. I enjoy it. You know what I mean? But as I get older, like just 
paying for it the next day is making it not fucking worth it. So I just don't do it. And whenever I decide to stop, I just stop. And it sucks for a few days. And then what it is is it's not part of my daily routine. And then I literally just forget about it. Um, you know, but I don't know. You seem like a little bit uh, beyond that. So I would definitely reach out to your, your wife and uh, see if she can help you. And maybe if she can help you, you stop there. And if you need more help, I would go do that. But uh, don't depend on me because I don't have any kids and I live like a fucking 14 year old. So I'm not a good person to uh, use. I mean, having said that, I'm just doing a beer a day. <laughs> if that helps you. 